Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Manzoor and you are watching Manzoor Tech YouTube channel Today in this video we will talk about uh, retail point of sale system This software can work for almost uh, all types of businesses like the grocery stores, uh, electric shops, hardware shop etc. We will discuss all the features of the software like end of the day report, x report, z report etc. Uh, you will see uh, how many benefits uh, this software can give to your business. For any type of business related software uh, please write to us on this email address. Uh, without wasting any more time let's get into it. Guys this is the front office of the software we will discuss both front and back office. Uh, so you can see a lot of options here let us discuss them one by one. Like on the front page you can see uh, some products here. These are the categories that you can see here. If I click on any category like this you can see products inside. How we uh, add these products we will discuss them later. Let's go back and see the options. Uh, the first thing you can see here on the main page. Let's make a sale and I will uh, show you what these options mean for us. So this thing let's sell this one. For example, uh, I sell this casing, so I will so I'll click this and you can see it gives me an option for the price uh, change because I have already allowed for the price change. I will show you how you can allow the price change. Let's say uh, we charge the customer 8000, so I will put 8000 here and I will enter. Now as for uh, the sale, it is complete now but it may have some uh, complications like uh, it is cash or a credit or check or something like that. If you want just to save the sale and do nothing, you can click here F9. So this is the shortcut for the save sale. F10 means uh, the payment options that we will see now. And F12 means the exact amount like uh, for example the customer pays you 8000 and there is nothing to give him back the change. So you can just uh, click here if this is cash and the exact amount. So this is better, uh, you can uh, use this quick shortcut. But if for example the customer pays you something like uh, in check, you can go here for more options. If the customer wants the bill in his name, so you will have to go here. This is the cash drawer option. This can only work if your uh, cash drawer is connected to your printer. Uh, so when you click here, the cash drawer will open. So now it says that the cash drawer command is not set. Now let's say uh, we give some discount on this order. Now you can have like PKR, some amount or you can have percent. Let's say we can give 5% on this order. It will look like this. So if you go again there and you say no we, we cannot give the percent we can just give 50 PKR. Now you can see the refund option also here. We can only use this after the sale because if the sale is made then we can have a refund. Here is the new sale like just leave this sale here on this stage and uh, here is something urgent. So you can go for the new sale. Now you see the cart is empty you can have another sale for another customer. If this order is time taking uh, you can have uh, the quick customer for example the other customer he wants this and you can also save the sale or you can have new sale you can have the quantity from here uh, for example the customer wants 10 pieces so I will put 10 here and update it you can see the quantity is updated other option for doing so is like click this order again and again and it will increase the quantity for this product now let's go to the other order that is open so you have to uh, make new sale now here you can see some orders are saved click here and it will take you to the open orders uh, so these two orders are opened we have to close them just click one of them select the order and here you have the option to settle the order or just void the order so i will void the order because this is not genuine now it gives me the other option like what to do with this order let's settle this order uh, now there is option you can see the transfer uh, this option uh, you can use if you have multiple users like you have seen uh, in the stores like nest store and these stores uh, you can see there is transfer for the users so you can click here and you can transfer it to any user that is assigned to this software let's write this order and i will show you some other options uh, how we can search the products the software has multiple options um, uh, how to search the product inside the software like here if you see we can see three options this is by the barcode if you have a barcode already barcode scanner so you can just scan click here and scan any product and it will quickly come to the cart 
if you have uh, limited products like 30 or 40 so you can remember the SKU code the number I already entered the products so you can see if I enter any number like 20 it gives me this option like on number 20 I have this product so this is easy for those people who have limited products I will not recommend this option for the grocery stores because they have thousands of products they cannot remember this and here you can see by name uh, we can just click here and we can uh, type any name like CPU so you can see uh, this gives us many options for the CPU and you can quickly enter any product and it will come to the cart if this is cash and the exact amount the customer is paying so it's better you press here F12 the shortcut key for this option so if I press F12 or I click here I can get this option now uh, the order is complete it's recorded in the software and now if you want you can have uh, the receipt if the customer wants the receipt this will be 80 mm receipt is the invoice if you have connected a 4 printer also uh, some customers they demand for the invoice so you can just click here and you can give them the invoice this is the PDF you can save the PDF and send him on WhatsApp or uh, email we can configure the email uh, if we know about the SMTP options uh, now let's make another cell uh, with this option F10 so I will make any order like this I will increase the quantity I will set the price as 70 and increase the quantity by 5 uh, so you can also lock the order from here let's uh, settle this order now this time I click F10 and here you can see many options like you can round this order if you want the round figures you can just make it round you can give a discount also on this page uh, you can add a customer this is the basic feature on this page like let's uh, click on this we already have some customers here but if uh, he is not in your list so you can go here and uh, you can add the customer like ABC uh, you can add the address ABC street or something like that street you can have the phone number of the customer also you can have the email address and just click OK now this order is in the customers name here are the options for the payments uh, you can see you can change all these options we will see in the back office now you can make a cash sale you can have the credit card debit card the credit sale like see here this is the credit sale so if the customer uh, doesn't pay you something uh, you have to click on credit you can also split the payments uh, let's say the customer pay um, 100 and uh, the balance is 250 the software will automatically calculate whatever the balance is remaining uh, like let's say uh, split the payments now it's asking us uh, what type of payments uh, the customer is paying so we will click cash first uh, that the customer is paying uh, 100 by cash and the rest of the amount the software says that 2250 is remaining you have to adjust this also otherwise the ok option it's grayed out you can see here now I will click credit and automatically you can see the software uh, says 250 uh, is remaining so I will enter the whole amount you can split the payment uh, in as many parts as you want uh, now you can see if 350 is complete uh, the ok option is enabled now let's uh, click ok it gives again the same options uh, receipt invoice email and pdf let me show you how the receipt looks like so i will save it as a pdf just to show you i will save it on the desktop you can see the software saves the receipt with the order number so save it now let's go to the desktop and see this is the receipt Uh, you can see guys this is the invoice you can just send it to the customer with the whatsapp or email now if the customer comes uh, at the later time and he wants the receipt you can go here you can just see the view sales history here is the order so click on this one now I will print the receipt and I will show you so let me print the receipt so guys we have already seen the receipt and uh, the invoice which are uh, highly professional uh, now let's see the other uh, features in the software 
Uh, now as guys we have already discussed uh, mostly all the features uh, on the front office and now let's see the options inside the back office uh, so you have this option here three lines uh, beside this let me discuss uh, with you if you have a touch screen and you need a keyboard the software gives you the option for the keyboard like here click here and it will uh, display the keyboard so this is uh, very beneficial for those uh, who use a touch screen click again here uh, now let's go to the back office uh, here you can click uh, you can see some options uh, let's discuss them one by one here is the management uh, this is the main option that you will use inside the software you can add the products from here you can uh, change the prices and many things that you can do from the management here is the view sales history we already uh, saw here when I was printing the receipt and this is the cash in and cash out uh, remember guys this is the cash in and cash out if you want to add cash from here so this will not be uh, the cash from the sales this cash will be uh, considered besides the sale like for example the owner gives you uh, some cash amount for change so this amount is besides the sales this will not be considered inside the sales uh, let's say the owner gives us uh, 1000 I will add it here and I will uh, write the reason cash given by the owner or change so I'll save this now we also withdraw cash uh, for daily expenses so you have to go here remove cash and uh, I will write here uh, 100 I'll write here water this is the expense uh, for the shop so when an expense is made for the shop I will record it here and save it so when you go here you can see a summary of cash in and cash out I click here you can see here the cash entries like 1000 it was given by the owner and uh, 100 it was taken for water this amount will also affect the end of the day report this amount will be added to the sales and then 100 will be subtracted you can do as many entries as you want uh, okay guys now let's uh, see the end of the day report if you click this option uh, it will take you here if you just want to see the sales and do not close the registers and the cash tower just click here and see whatever sales made today if you want to cash out just click here and it will uh, show you this amount is in the cash tower this is the credit and this is the cash sales if you want to uh, cash out just click here and it will give you a receipt but for now I am not closing the cash as this is the admin account I can also do the cash out for all users I'll click here and the balance will be different if you have many accounts I can also close the registers from here if I click any of these options and I just click continue it will give me a Z report simply X report means uh, the report before the closing and Z report means uh, report after the closing now let's discuss uh, user info just click here and you can see the current user information you can change your password from here you can change your name and password your email address you can have the user reports the current user you can cash out from here also uh, now here you can see sign out if you want to sign out you can just uh, click here and you will be signed out of your account uh, at the end you can see uh, three options which we will discuss one by one this option is full screen if I click here you can see my software is in full screen now if I want to exit the full screen just click it again from here uh, you can shut down the software and this is the main option like settings you can change all the settings inside the software from here now let's discuss management and settings these two options are the main options we will uh, deal with so let's see the management first inside the management you can see an overview of uh, these options like the monthly sales uh, as my business was started from June so I can see from June to August you can see my June sales July and August and it is also showing you uh, the top month for you which is July and uh, this is the amount for the sales now if you want to see from other angle just click here and you will see like this Below this uh, there are options for the top products uh, which uh, have been sold today. This is the top 5 you can select top 10 or top 20 let me uh, click here 
it is showing me the top product for this day is this one and this is the second and so on now you can see uh, the sales for any day you want for today for this week for yesterday let's say this is for this week I click here so it is giving me all the options for this week and so on this is the total sales amount in this week you can see count how many objects I sold so I will click count uh, now if I click on count it is showing me uh, how many objects uh, quantity I sold uh, we can further see here like the top products from here for this week as I selected uh, this week so all these criteria all these things will be for this week and the top customers and the unknown means the cash sales that you made uh, without any customer adding because the cash sales are always uh, more than uh, by name sales this is the customer we can see purchase in more amount and so on for the uh, further below uh, now let's see the documents uh, here are the options that you can add if I add a document you can see the code from here the expenses I can add sales inventory as for these two options you can see we have to pay amount so this is under the expenses head and you can see the code 100 is the code for the purchase and 120 is for stock return uh, this is the sales if you see we have three options here the sales uh, is 200 220 is for refund and 230 is per performer this is the inventory the inventory document I will start from 300 this is the loss so the loss will start from 400 when you use the software you will be used to these terms uh, now uh, let's create a document like in the expense we have to create purchase in this video I will only make uh, one document you can make uh, and try all of these so I'll click OK. Uh, make sure you already uh, defined your uh, vendors. Like uh, here, you can define them, customer and suppliers. Uh, we will discuss it later. Uh, now let's suppose we already uh, defined our supplier or vendor. So here is the list of vendors that uh, we already defined. Let's select one of them. Here is the date section. You can select a date the paid and unpaid like for example you have paid for the uh, purchase so you can uh, just mark it paid like this and if it's unpaid purchase uh, leave it like this one now here's the number of the document this is the number of the document you can see 100 uh, in the document it means this is purchase document any number in the middle uh, will represent the document type like here 100 uh, represents the purchase here is the external document number if you have any the stock date you can update it here and here are the products make sure you already entered the products let's say uh, we purchase this cable as I already uh, sold so uh, let's double click this one and here you can see uh, this is the quantity how much we are going to purchase uh, let's say this is 20 pieces and you can see the total before tax and after tax is automatically updated the discount if you have taken any discount from the supplier and uh, let's say this is okay now so I'll click OK and go to the payment section by default it's uh, totally unpaid and if this is paid totally it's paid but you can make it partial like uh, let's click payments and here you have to create new so the total pending payment automatically appears here you can select the type of payment if this is cash or credit or check or anything so let's say this is credit unpaid and here's the date you can select by default the current date is taken and ok now this document is complete let's save it so guys we already created uh, one customer and one supplier both are credit and now let's make some payments in their account let's go to the documents for example uh, we pay some amount to the supplier go to the go to the documents and from here select the supplier you can search the document in any field here you can even enter the document number if you remember but let's uh, select the supplier just type a name here and select the date here you can select this year or this month okay 
search uh, you see we have three documents pending for this supplier the current document that we created now it's here for which the total amount is 760 and let's select this document click on edit and make some payment uh, payments like here new you can set the payment type through which you are paying to this supplier uh, mostly it's cash so select cash the debt and amount uh, let's say we pay 150 okay and save the document similarly you can uh, make payments to the supplier again and again and automatically you can see the total amount now it's remaining 610 because we already paid 150 you can see a total report in the payment section uh, now let's take some payment from the customer to which uh, we already sold today go to the document select the customer the customer was ABC you can see here click select date range remember you must select a date range because if the document doesn't fall in that date it will not be shown so better you select this month or this year this is current document so we select only this month okay and search you see this document is pending and let's see total amount uh, which is 350 let's deposit some amount in this account so we have to click edit and go to the payments now you see we already uh, split the payment when we were uh, making the sale it is cash and credit which is 100 and 250 now let's make some payment to this account uh, click new cash and let's say we receive 100 more so it's okay and save the document as we make some payment you can see the credit uh, amount which decreases before it was 250 now it's 150 so save this you can even see the statement and you can even send it to the customer through whatsapp or email uh, you can make more research on these documents which is very interesting uh, now let's move to the products which is the main uh, thing we will discuss in this video how you can add the products how to edit them how to make the pricing uh, so click on the products and you will see the list of the products that are already added in your uh, database but still if you don't have any product you have to create the group first if you want uh, the categories inside your products if you don't want the categories by default one category for the products is here uh, let's define some product here is the new product tab just click this and uh, the name of the product for example uh, we say this is test product and this is the code SKU code which we already discussed and this is the barcode if you want uh, you can create your own barcode the software will assign a unique barcode to any product that you enter you can even uh, use your existing uh, products barcode just scan the product barcode here or you can generate your own if you have a barcode printer so let's generate the barcode it's unit of measurement you can define pieces or uh, units or anything kg that is up to you this is the product by default uh, every product will go to the products but you can just select your category now let's say this product uh, belongs to cpu so i select cpu from here this is active you can even make it inactive by just clicking here you can uh, have the default quantity this quantity and the price this will affect the scale if you, you are using a scale but by default other things should be like this now here is the most important thing the service is not using the stock what does it mean it means like uh, if this is a service like uh, repair or something uh, which doesn't consume stock so you have to select this one like in many shops you have services just maintenance repair etc so you can use this tab here is the edge restriction uh, by law you cannot sell cigarette or any uh, other things uh, that belongs to any country uh, you are bound uh, to sell it to over 18 years so you can just select 18 years and whenever you enter the date of birth of the customer so it will show you that uh, he is eligible or not you can type description also here let's say this product is not uh, edge restricted you can see uh, some tabs uh, on the top now before saving you have to go to price and tax so here is a tax you can define taxes here 
you can define tax like VAT or GST or any name so go to the cost like for example we purchase this thing uh, 50 and we sell it uh, let's say 80 or you can even define a percent 25 percent 50 percent you have to enter one of them like markup or sell price the price includes tax what does it mean for example the price is 100 if you uh, tick this option it will split the price 95 and 5 tax like this if you exclude this one it will show the price uh, 100 and 5 tax so it will be 105 if you want to allow the cashier uh, for the price change you just uh, enable this option otherwise you can make the price fix let's say this price change is allowed and here's the comments and image if you want you can uh, just have an image of the product for example browse from here and download pictures or you can even take pictures of your products and just upload it to the software like what i did now just save the product it's all done about the products now we have to enter the stock the second step is stock so it comes after the products just click here search the product that we just entered you can search by name or by barcode uh, just type the name it's, it was test product and it's here now you see uh, the, it is not showing us the quick inventory or uh, the quick inventory option is disabled because we define this product as a service now let's change the product uh, from the product settings so go here and uh, search for the product edit the product I was doing this because I want to tell you about how to edit the product and change the prices ok now let's uh, disable this option uh, service not using stock if I disable this it will become a product save and now let's go again to the stock and here the stock now if you refresh the page and now you can see quick inventory option is enabled just click here and uh, let's say uh, we have this product 20 pieces so enter here is the cost including tax value and and the value means how much will it make when it's sold so it is the sale price and this is the cost it will earn 600 when we sell all of them the next step is reporting let's click here and you can see a lot of reports I cannot discuss all of them you can see products here you want to see the report by products if you want by a supplier how much product we purchase from this supplier you can have customer let's say we want to send statement to a customer how much uh, we did business with this customer so select the customer let's say I select a customer from here and this is the user who whoever sold to this customer let's say the users are all as I have only one user in this uh, system you can have all or you can select a specific user the cash registers you can select uh, all or you can just select a specific uh, cash register products which product we sold to this customer so you can also select a category from here so let's uh, leave all these by default and uh, select the date range uh, for example we want this year how much we did business with this client so ok and show the report this is very interesting if I send this to my customer uh, what will he think about our business you can make the customer relation more stronger if you send this to your customers and the same you can do with the suppliers the private groups the customers you can even uh, select customers from here the same you can do for any report and you can filter the same options here the user you can check which user sold how much so this is better you select users and filter it from here the payment types means how much we sold to this customer on cash and credit payment types by users payment types by customers refund status you want to see uh, your business refund status in a specific time period by specific user specific customer you can do like this invoice list how much invoices were issued daily sales you can check daily sales for any day you want you can select any date range here uh, let's say uh, this year how much we sold so just select here and you will see how much you sold in this year you can check all of these the most important here is profit and margin select all customers all cash registers by default all the options should be set like this and select this month so uh, this month ok and show the report it's better you can see how much you sold 
this was the cost total profit and margin in the quantity how much quantity you sold so this is a very clear cut result the unpaid sales this is very important for any business how much uh, i have to uh, take from my customers this is the balance report so i will check unpaid sales and select a date range from here and just select like uh, this month select ok and show report so these are the unpaid customers uh, you can call them here is the uh, starting cash entries uh, you can check this one discount granted items discount how much we did uh, we gave discount to the people stock movement uh, this is also important you can check the stock movement from a specific date to a specific date uh, let's say this month and i just show the report from here you can see the movement of your stock under the purchase you can see we have other options like suppliers you can have products report you can have unpaid purchase this is also important for a business so uh, select a date range uh, let's say this month okay and show the report it will tell us uh, how much we have to pay to the suppliers uh, we just made this entry now and you can see we have to pay this amount to our supplier if you have many suppliers it will be shown here i think this is enough for the reporting now let's see the customer and suppliers you can see all the customers here you can check even your suppliers you can even import and export your suppliers from here and the same you can do for the products here you can see inside the products i just forgot price tags you can make uh, your barcodes you can save the pdf and you can even export and import your products from here if you need to know about uh, these price tags you can just comment and i will tell you how you, how you can do this so go to the customer suppliers and uh, you can import your suppliers export let's add a customer or a supplier so from here uh, if you enter something if you enter like test supplier and here's the code you want to assign text number if they have like some countries they require you to enter the text number of the supplier and address uh, this is test street zip code city and country phone number you can just enter the phone number of the supplier and the email address one important thing here you have to select from here active and the second thing is customer if this customer is enabled it will mean that you are adding a customer if you disable this the system will assume this is a supplier now you can go to the discount tab you can have uh, some products here and you can uh, take a discount if this supplier is providing the discount you can have loyalty cards from this supplier and the payment terms what are the payment terms so the due period you can define anything here and let's save this supplier so this was very easy how to add a customer or supplier you can edit and delete them also here the next one is promotions and actions you can add a promotion like you have seen in many uh, shops uh, they say buy one get one free how you can do this the promotion name the promotion name you can select any uh, let's say this is buy one get one free the promotion name this is active you can make it even inactive after select the date let's say this will start from 24th and the time you can select from here and it will end on 25th so you don't need to uh, do it manually so this promotion will be automatically enabled and disabled on these timings and you can even define the days let's say this is not for all days only for monday so you can select any day from here uh, now select the products on which you want to grant uh, this promotion so let's go here and select this product the quantity if this is a condition of our quantity let's say the quantity must be two or three the discount will be like this so if the quantity is two apply all apply to next and the discount will be a uh, fixed price and this will be you can have a percent of the discount so save this one this promotion you can define according to your needs the next one is uh, users and security uh, we have only one user which is admin you can have some active and inactive users you can select from here so add a user and uh, let's say this is a test user the last name is user and the email address whatever you want you can put the password you can select for the user 
let's say so one two three four one two three four the access level uh, here we will discuss it now we just save this user uh, it says the user with the same password already exists so you cannot uh, give the same password to uh, more users uh, let's say this is 4321 and 4321 now save this one uh, this user is added now click this user and go to the security level go here remember that admin can do uh, these things so you can see all these things are zero in simple language you can say zero means zero restrictions if you put nine here like management this user cannot access i will put nine and settings also so nine whatever you want the user uh, to require a admin password you just uh, put nine so zero means the access is granted and nine will mean the access granted but with the admin password so any option you want to lock for this user you can just put nine uh, now let's test this user now let's see if this user is able to go to the management or settings we will log out this account and we will log in with the test user so here we have to put his password now you see we still have the same uh, options now let's click management and you see it requires uh, to enter the admin password now let's sign out this account and go to the admin account go to management and here uh, the user and security so you can even make this user inactive so you can just edit the user and you can change its password also now let's go to the payment types you can see these six payment types which are by default i just make some changes to this one which is credit how you can define it you can just go to edit and here you can change the name of this uh, payment type i just change this to the credit you can define a code by default uh, this one is checked for all the payment types so you have to uncheck this one because the payment uh, will be not be received and will be credited save this option even you can define as many uh, payment types as you want you can just click on uh, new payment type and from here you can name the payment type and you can uh, make changes to these options is the countries here you can make changes to your country you can add even new country you can edit the same countries now let's discuss the tax rates go to our tax rates we uh, don't have any tax here so we haven't defined any uh, tax now let's uh, define a new tax rate name of the tax let's say white and the code the percentage let's say mostly it's 5% so if you want to make it fixed it will be fixed amount like 5 pkr it will not be like 5% so let's say this is percent and save it we have this tax now and now when we add a product we will see this tax rate so we can apply it to a product and we can even avoid it not to apply it to a product the last one is my company here is the company details the business name and uh, the address you can even define uh, your business name in arabic or your own language just copy from google and paste it here so it will be shown on the receipt and from here you can make changes even to the logo and to all the fields that you see here and now let's go to the settings and quickly discuss the settings here you can see the setting option click here and you can see many options like the same uh, management but these will not be used mostly mostly here is the hardware setting most of these settings require setting once only and will not require any changes in the future in the general section there is language you can change your language also if you change this option to any language uh, you will see the software interface in that language the major languages are here you can select any of them is the left to right by default the right in direction is left to right but some languages uh, have right to left like urdu so you can set your direction right to left the color scheme it's dark you can see this is black i can select many of them like uh, light so save you see this is light it will depend on your choice let's select dimmed this is also beautiful uh, layout but i'm used to the dark so i will just select this one 
the layout is uh, visual and standard like if you select standard from here it will be mostly it is used with the mouse and keyboard if I select save now you see the layout has changed now the setting is here so go here and select the visual again as I'm used to the visual the number of rows you can change it to as many rows as you want enable virtual keyboard if you want to enable the keyboard you can disable the keyboard also from here the zoom will be 100% you can even uh, decrease or increase the zoom if I increase it by 150 and I save it this option is useful for those who have a weak uh, eyesight you can even decrease the zoom but normally it's 100% it's okay in the messages section you can uh, make these changes the message duration you can change it from here the position is on top you can even uh, select the message to be on the bottom if you want to see the cache status on the application start you can just select here and when you start the application it will show you how much is in the drawer select business day on application start like if you have uh, business days defined already so it will show you the business days and the start but these options I don't think these are very important in, in normal businesses but I recommend to you uh, to just leave these options by default and these are the options uh, that will appear in the button bar like you see on the main interface of the software you can change these options if you don't want to show the discount or cash draw or any option here just select and save so this option will not be shown on the front page of the software these are the sounds if you enable the sounds uh, the software will make specific sound on a specific action the default search is name in the software you can change even to the barcode or even to the code the default discount type is percentage you can take it as a fixed amount it will be separate row for each item like let's say um, uh, we don't want the quantity to be increased instead we need a separate row for the same item i think this is not important but it will help you in a weighing scale if you are using the weighing scale then it's beneficial negative inventory like you can disable this so the software will uh, refuse to sell anything which is not in the inventory if this option is disabled you can see in the stock many things will be minus if this option is disabled like this so uh, you will see in the stock some items in minus quantity here's the options for users you can change all of them the payment like display receipt print dialog box if you don't want the dialog box to appear like the print receipt print invoice just print the receipt and you disable this option and you click f12 so the software will uh, sell item without asking you anything the default due date like for any credit you can define the uh, days 5 days 10 days this is up to you merge items on receipt you can merge the items like the same category option the quantity will be increased only the shortcut keys if you want to enable or disable already they are enabled you already saw the options of f10 and f12 etc if you want to disable these options the shortcut keys just click here now let's see the advanced options you can see reset order number on day close this option if allowed it will uh, reset the order number on uh, daily basis but uh, if you keep a record of the things then uh, it's not recommended you enable this option here you can select uh, show all occupied uh, tables in floor plans this is only for the restaurant if you have the restaurant option uh, now let's go to the product settings from here you can make changes to the display and print items with text included so from here you can enable or disable this option discount apply rule after tax or before tax if you apply the discount before or after tax it will change the amount remember that this option will affect your total amount uh, if you give the discount after or before the tax you can do the sorting by name by default and you can also do it by code uh, if you enable this option default tax rate the software will assign the tax of 5% weight uh, to all the products that you add and you are not uh, required to apply tax manually to each product cost price based on markups you can enable this option also cost price uh, based markup if you want your markup to be on the percentage basis from here you can enable the moving average price you can see the details about this here this is the weighing scale you might have noticed uh, the weighing scale in larger uh, stores like Nesto, uh, Carrefour etc this is specially used in vegetable and fruit section uh, you might have noticed so if you have a weighing scale you can connect it with this software if I enable this it will give you the options to enter and you can connect your weighing scale now let's go to customer display you might have noticed a customer display on the back of the point of sale hardware so if you have that one also 
you can enable this and you can uh, select the com port from your system and you can type your message like uh, welcome to our store and you can have the second line also and just say stay blessed you can type anything you want for your customers now you will say that if you type these options and these are displayed on the screen then how will the customer see the price this is the question now uh, this means when the screen is idle this will be shown and when it's busy it will show the price only the email options uh, you can select your SMTP from here and when you uh, complete this section you will be able to send emails to your customers instead of the receipt or invoice that we already discussed the print options from here you can add any printer you can select a printer which is connected to your computer and here's the printer settings uh, like I did for my printer same you can do with your printer and you can define your uh, footer from here right to left and you can change all about the receipt from here if you have a kitchen printer also so you enable this option let's go to database you can uh, back up the database you can even make changes to this section if you uh, enable this option for example if I uh, click this option a uh, backup database on application start or application close so it will make backup on application start or close you can even uh, remove the old backup option so it will take only one backup from here you can open the database location wherever your database is saved so you can take backup from this file guys this was all about the retail software I hope uh, I discussed it in very detail and hope so that you liked and enjoyed the video please like the video subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you